the entrance of the adjutants in the Philippine Coast Guard Band. The attention call has just been sounded. This signals the entrance of the Gordon Legion Men. with a decision, one that he makes before taking the entrance examination during the last Saturday of September of every year. He then takes series of exams to assure that he can go through the rigorous training inside the academy. And under the scorching heat of summer, he gets a first taste of life in the academy as he becomes a probationary midshipman, also known as a probie. This is the breaking period where they are taught the proper actuations and character of a cadet. They are duly oriented to a life of a fourth class midshipman. After a month of orientation, they are then recognized as part of the PMMA Corps of Midshipmen. They'll be living a life of being the lowest mammals of the Corps. Their only responsibility is to follow. They are expected to solely practice the principle of obedience and nothing more. After surviving a year in the academy, they then become Tigers of the Corps as third class midshipmen. Having gone through rigorous and strict training, they are now strongly aware of how the life of a cadet should be. In return, it is then their responsibility to continuously train their juniors and pass on the traditions of the academy. They become a so-called the middleman, both the leader and the follower. During their third year in the academy, the second-class midshipmen undergo on-the-job training on board international commercial vessels and various national defense units specifically in the Navy or the Coast Guard. In this manner, they are exposed to the life and work at sea where they are recognized as cadet officers in their respective areas. As they return to the academy for their last year of stay, the Dragons of the Corps are given the chance to train and hold their leadership by handling the Corps of Midshipmen. The first class midshipmen are expected to handle the biggest responsibilities and are given the highest privilege as recognition for their efforts. Finally, when a midshipman becomes a member of the Long Blue Line, he gets the luxury of choosing highly recognized careers in his path. He may choose to serve the country by becoming an officer of the Philippine Navy or Philippine Coast Guard, or work in the maritime industry as officers on board international commercial vessels. Started from a simple decision, 
a person becomes a midshipman, and the DMA molds him to be a noble and virtuous leader for himself, for his family, for God, and for his country. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you is the Gore of Midshipman of the Philippine Virgin Marine Academy. The trip agenda now designates Alpha Company as the base company. In a base manner called the Agitat Strap, the troop adjutant will position himself midway between the line of troops and the troop commander. In the same manner, the battalion adjutants join their respective battalions. The troop adjutant now directs the battalion commanders to order the guides to take their post. The troop adjutant has directed the battalion commanders to order the troops to parade rest. Thank you. 
originally named Escuela Nautica de Manila, created by virtue of a Spanish royal decree issued on January 1, 1820. The school was inaugurated on April 5 of the same year. Its most distinguished alumnus of that time was Captain Pascual Ledesma, who had several Filipino officers of the Spanish Royal Navy to join the Philippine Revolution under General
Please all rise for the singing of the national anthem. The troop adjutant Fritzi Sebahang and reports to the troop commander that the troop is formed. The troop commander then directs the troop adjutant to take his post. The troop adjutant directs the battalion commander to surrender the report. The troop adjutant reports to the troop commander that all are present and accounted for. The troop commander acknowledges the salute in order the troop adjutant to publish the order of the day.
The true adjutant has ordered the officers to march to the center to receive instructions from the troop commander. The troop commander orders the corps to present arms to present the corps to our guest of honor and speaker, Coast Guard Commodore Agabito B. Biba, Deputy Commander, Coast Guard Education and Doctrine Command. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, the inspection of troops will be led by our guest of honor and speaker, Coast Guard Commodore Agapito B. Biban. Deputy Commander, Coast Guard Education and Doctrine Command, and he is accompanied by the PMMA Superintendent, Commodore Joel Wayabotal, PMMA. Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation. He holds a degree of Master of Arts in Maritime Education from the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy Graduate School, a 
presently taking up his Doctor of Philosophy in Human Resource Management. He is also a graduate of the International Maritime Officers Course at the International Maritime Officers School, U.S. Coast Guard Training Center, Yorktown in Virginia, U.S.A. and the Civil Military Responses to Terrorism Course at the Institute for Security Governance, Naval Post Graduate School at Monterey, California, U.S.A. He also took up the Maritime Law Enforcement Course in Fukuoka, Japan. His sea tours include assignments as mess and supply officer and deck and gunnery officer of BRP Kalinga, AE-89, engineering officer of BRP Corregidor, AE-891, operations officer of BRP San Juan, SARV-001, and BRP Pampanga, SARV-003, executive officer of BRP Pampanga, SARV-003, BRP Romblon, SARV-3503, BRP Sindangan, MMRV-4407, and BRP Francisco Tagohoy, MMOV-5002. He commanded Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, B4 Vessel, MCS-3007, Philippine Coast Guard Vessel, BRP Davao del Norte, SARV-3504, BRP Capones, MMRV-4404, and BRP San Juan, SARV-001. His ashore assignments include duty as Flag Lieutenant to the Commander Naval Education and Training Command, Admin and Logistics Officer of the Maritime Safety Affairs Office, CGA, Course Director of Coast Guard Marines Courses at the Coast Guard Education, Training and Doctrines Command. He is a recipient of various awards and decorations, such as the Coast Guard Distinguished Service Medal and Ribbon, Bronze Cross Medal and Ribbon, Outstanding Achievement Medal and Ribbon, Superior Achievement Medal and Ribbon, Gawad sa Kaunlaran, Military Merit Medal and Ribbon, Coast Guard Merit Medal and Ribbon, Search and Rescue Medal. He is happily married to Miss Lorna Riquina Biba and blessed with three kids, Francine Marie, John Benedict, and Valerie Jane. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor and speaker, Coast Guard Commodore Agapito D. Vipa, Deputy Commander, Coast Guard Education Training and Doctrine Command, together with the PMMA Superintendent, Commodore Joel Wayabutal, PMMA. Let's give them a big round of applause. stand for the invocation to be led by Ms. Aurelia Dodora U. Aragon, RGC, PMMA Guidance Counselor. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Almighty Father, we gather here today to honor and celebrate the accomplishments of our third class and fourth class midshipmen. We stand in awe of their dedication, resilience, and unwavering commitment to service. We give thanks for the knowledge and skills they have gained through rigorous training and academic challenges. May these gifts serve them well as they take the next step in their journeys. We ask for your continued guidance and protection as they embark on their new roles. Grant them wisdom to make sound decisions, courage to face adversity, discipline to excel in their training, and compassion to inspire others. Bless them with strength, both physical and mental, to navigate the demands and uncertainties of seafaring life. May they find camaraderie and purpose in their service to our nation. May the incoming third class develop their honorable character and integrity that is a hallmark of a maritime officer. And 
as the incoming second class set sail on the new chapter, we pray for the safety of their voyages and the well-being of their loved ones who will wait for their return. May they forever carry the values of Kawastuhan, Kagitingan, and Kababanglo that defines the marine spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Please be seated. At this juncture, may we, re we request our Assistant Superintendent for Admin and Finance, Captain Lonnie D. Basco, PMMA, for his welcome remarks. Guest of honor and uh, speaker, uh, Coast Guard Admiral Ronnie Gavan, as uh, represented by uh, Coast Guard uh, Commodore Agabito Bimat, sir, together with his uh, loving wife, Mrs. Lorna Bimat, ma'am. To the President of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy Alumni Association Incorporated, Coast Guard Auxiliary Commodore, Jeremias Simon, MNSA, sir. To our beloved and ever supportive PMMA Superintendent, Commodore Joel Y. Abutal, sir. Officers, MMA family, friends, and of course, huwag natin kalimutan yung mga bisita ng ating mga midshipmen ngayong araw. Ang mga naggagandahan at naggagabuhan ng mga kapatid, kamag-anak, mga nanay, tatay, lolo at lola ng ating mga matitikas na kadete ng PMMA. At siyempre, huwag natin kakalimutan ang ating mga distinguished fourth-class midshipmen and midshipwomen of the Layaksikan class of 2027 for their incredible journey. A pleasant morning to each and every one. Today, we gather to celebrate a momentous event in the journey of these exceptional individuals as they transition from fourth-class midshipmen to third-class midshipmen, proudly carrying the role as the Tigers of the Corps. The significance of this transition cannot be overstated. As they step into their new roles, they not only inherit the steam title of Tigers of the Horde, but also the sacred responsibility of shaping the future of our academy, paving the way and direction of the maritime industry both national and international arena. To all the guests here with us present physically and some are watching maybe in different social media platforms, you are now looking at the future maritime leaders of this nation. To the Lion Sikan class of 2027, you are now entrusted with the vital task of being the bridge between past traditions and future aspirations. You are the middleman tasked with the noble duty of both leading and following 
of inspiring and being inspired of upholding the values and traditions that define the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy. As you embark on this new chapter of your journey, remember that leadership is not merely about authority, but about service and empathy. Embrace your role as mentors and guides to your juniors, imparting not only knowledge and skills, but also enduring the core values of kawastuhan, kababaang loob, at kagitingan. Let us also not forget that leadership is likewise about humility and continuous learning. As you guide your juniors, remain open to their ideas, perspectives, and insights. In doing so, you will not only foster a culture of collaboration and innovation, but also ensure the continued growth and success of our dear alma mater, the PMMA. To the Lyaxican class of 2027, I have every confidence that you will rise to the challenges and responsibilities that lie ahead with courage, determination, and grace. May you continue to sail the seas of success with unwavering dedication and may your journey as third-class midshipmen be filled with growth, fulfillment, and the pride of upholding the proud traditions of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy. Congratulations, Tigers of the Corps. May you roar, echo throughout our halls, inspiring generations of cadets to come. To the Salighirang Sagisag ng Liwanag Haligi ng Huwaran Class of 2026, you are the future stewards of our maritime heritage entrusted with the responsibility of upholding the highest standards of professionalism and safety at sea. May you carry out your duties with diligence, integrity, and a deep sense of pride in representing your alma mater and your country on the international stage. Enjoy your second class pace. As you set sail for distant shores and unknown horizons, I bid you safe seas and fair winds. May your voyage be filled with invaluable experiences, enriching encounters, and boundless opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace the challenges that come your way with courage, resilience, and a firm determination to succeed. We are looking forward that you will return here to the Academy, success, and ready to face the first last year. Remember, as you navigate the intricacies of life at sea, you carry with you the lessons and values instilled in you by our beloved alma mater. Uphold the principles of excellence, professionalism, and camaraderie that are the hallmarks of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy and let them be your guiding stars in the tumultuous seas. Again, fair winds and following seas to each one of you. May your journey be filled with success, 
fulfillment and the knowledge that you carry the hopes and aspirations of a proud nation with you wherever you go. Again, a pleasant morning to each and every one and welcome to our activity. To our officers, MMA family, staff, to the relatives present today, we welcome you to this momentous event of PMMA. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for delivering that inspiring message. With this, to introduce our guest of honor and speaker, please welcome the PMMA Superintendent, Commodore Joel Wayabotal, PMMA. Let's give him a round of applause. Dear brother, a graduate of this institution, Commodore Agapito B. Bibat, Philippine Coast Guard. Thank you very much. Would you please take your seats? Thank you very much, uh, Commodore Ramutal, sir, for that very kind introduction. Indeed, uh, I am greatly humbled by that introduction, for it is the superintendent himself, through the owner. Marami talagang salamat, sir. Actually, Commodore Ramutal is our uh, idolo namin ito, the class of 1993. Our esteemed upperclassman, way back, our cadet days at Fort Bonifacio. Thank you very much, sir. Well, uh, of course, to the uh, superintendent of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, Commodore uh, Joel Abutal, sir. Coast Guard uh, Auxiliary Commodore Jerry Simon, MNSA, sir. The alumni president, Professor uh, Ronald Barro, sir. The assistant superintendent for academics, training, research, and extension. Captain uh, Rooney Basco, PMMA, the Assistant Superintendent for Admin and Finance. Captain Franco Ladica, Master of Science, the Dean of Midshipman Affairs. Director Bernabe Funila, sir, the Department of Seaboard Training. Uh, I see here my mentors, and as well as my tour mentors. <laughs> During our cadet days at the academy, I see familiar faces. Nice to see you once again, sir. Good morning. To our esteemed uh, professors and instructors, the members of the faculty and staff, the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, the parents, relatives, friends, and loved ones of the main actors of this morning's activity the members of PMMA Selig Hearing Class of 2026 and members of uh, Layak Sikan Class of 2027. The Honorable Members of the Long Blue Line present here this morning. Shipmates, bunkmates, members of the PMMA Corps of Midshipmen. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Of course, hindi ko talaga pwedeng kalimutan yung nag-iisang two-star admiral sa bahay namin, my uh, loving wife, Lorna. Thank you, Tart, for the company. Well, before anything else, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the merciful Father for the gift of life, the blessings of good health, and of course, for, for this very fine weather that we have this morning. 
also would like to express my heart to the blessings that uh, God has showered to the members of the class of uh, 2026 and the class of 2027. Well, it is truly awesome to be here once again at this hallowed grounds with the proud members of our class, the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy Sanglipi class of 1993, first set foot at the revered grounds of Fort Bonifacio way back in May of 1989, an amazing 35 years ago. Well, actually last September 1, 2023, I was also here addressing the Layagsikan class of 2027 during their incorporation rights when I was still the district commander of Coast Guard District Central Visayas. This morning, I will be representing the Commandant of the Philippine Coast Guard, Admiral Rooney Hill Latorilla Gaban, as your guest of honor and keynote speaker. He is now attending the ASEAN Coast Guard Forum in Davao to discuss issues of utmost concerns with the Coast Guardians of the ASEAN region in this very volatile, uncertain, complex, and unambiguous situation in our nation's history. Hence, I am also here to express our heartfelt gratitude to our PMME graduates who courageously man Coast Guard vessels in our contested waters to assert our sovereignty and sovereign rights as a maritime nation. Maraming salamat sa inyong servisyo. Moments like this certainly showcase the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy as one of our nation's finest treasures and the country's crown jewels in the field of maritime education. Today, we gather here to celebrate a significant moment of the lives of these courageous young men and women before us. As they stand before us today, they are not just individuals, but symbols of dedication, commitment, and the promise of a bright, brighter future. Uh, before I proceed, the uh, troop commander will please give your mentikas pahinga. The journey that has led them to this point has been marked by challenges, sacrifices, and unwavering de determination to succeed. Out of thousands of applicants nationwide who tried their luck during the entrance examination, only few were able to make it until today. As the saying goes, many vie, but only few were chosen. This is an indication of the high standards which the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy continues to maintain with pride. These midshipmen have handled the rigors of training, honed their skills, and developed a depth sense of camaraderie, and commit themselves to serve, protect, and uphold the values that are distinguished alma mater as the leading maritime institution in the country. I understand that some of these cadets before us today will be joining with the Philippine Coast Guard and the Philippine Navy after their graduation. Thank you very much for heeding the call to be one with us in the noble profession of arms. Thank you very much for your service. You have embraced the ethics of true sealers, mold and cast in the hallowed grounds of our beloved academy. Etch in their minds, stamp into their hearts, and carve into your souls are the threefold virtues of righteousness, humility, and courage. Kawastuan, kababang loob, and kagitingan. The relaying point of each and every member of the long blue line. 
This attributes to the expression of the ethics of a true shipmate. Some say, especially the unbelievers, that they are just but flamboyant words or slogan. However, for us, the sons and daughters of the long blue line, these virtues build our basic character. They teach us to do what is right and restrain us from the things that are wrong. They mold us to be humble and gentle in success and yet learn to have compassion of those who fail. These virtues create in our hearts the predominance of courage against timidity, especially in the face of uncertainty. These are some of the things they do to us to mold our character. These virtues perpetuate and embrace the highest moral code that will stand the test of ethics and transcends beyond time. For these are the ethics of a true shipmate, an honorable member of the Long Blue Line. As we celebrate today the recognition rights of the Yag Sikan Class of 2027 and Sinop Ceremony of Saligiran Class of 2026, let us remember the weight of its significance. It is not merely a formality, but a solemn promise that binds these cadets to a life of honor and integrity. That cadets do not lie, cheat or steal, nor to tolerate among those who do. You are expected to be the paragon of all the virtues and the very essence of perfection. In a world that is continually changing, the responsibilities and challenges you will face are immense. You step into roles that demand not only physical prowess, but also mental fortitude and moral compass. You will be called upon to make difficult decisions, to lead by example, and to inspire those around you. As mentors, friends, and loved ones of these cadets, we play a very critical role in their journey. We have witnessed their growth, celebrated their triumphs, and supported through setbacks. And today, we entrust them with a mission greater than themselves. And we must continue to stand by them as they navigate this path. To the members of the Corps of Michipan of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, let me remind you this, especially to the class of 2026 and 2027. Your recognition rites and synop ceremony this morning is a reflection of your character, a reflection of the countless hours you have dedicated to reach this point. As you embark on this new chapter of your cadet life, remember that the uniform you wear carries with it the hopes and dreams of your families and loved ones. Let it be a source of pride, a reminder of the values you uphold, and a beacon of hope for those aspiring to be one of us. And at this very moment, I would also like to thank the families present here today and their loved ones, especially the moms and dads, as well as all the brothers, sisters, friends and other loved ones. You have been the steady breeze filling the sails of this midshipman and I salute you for it. Thank you very much for the support, love and effort you have expended. And uh, if I may request to give them a very loud round of applause. Indeed, this great institution of ours paved the way for making our fondest hopes and dreams into reality. And I was once that young man where you are standing right now. We started building the foundation of my dreams and aspirations in life 35 years ago in these hallowed grounds. And in closing, let us celebrate not just the end of one journey, but the beginning of another 
as these cadets embark on a voyage of honor and duty, let us support them, guide them, and stand with them if they step the way. To the members of PMMA Saligiran Class of 2026 and the Layag Sikan Class of 2027, congratulations. Bravo Sulu for our job well done. Fair winds, clear skies, and following seas. Thank you very much at magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Thank you, sir, for delivering that inspiring message. With this, Commodore Joel Wayabutan will present a simple memento to our honorary and grateful appreciation for his presence and for being our guest of honor and speaker. At this point, we are going to witness the past in a view.
led by its regimental commander, Midshipman Captain De La Cruz Cavite, together with EXO, Midshipman Commander Chawan Rafagal, N1, Midshipman Commander Dani Lavarisima, N2, Midshipman Commander Ortega Illegal City, N3, Midshipman Commander Cesarco Isabella, N4, Midshipman Commander Garcia Camarillo Sur, POT Representative Midshipman Commander Lipes Amusen del Sur, Honorable Chairman Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine Coast Guard Band under the baton of Coast Guard PO 2nd Military Guard of Philippine Coast Guard. First Battalion, headed by Midshipman Commander Di Manigua, Camarina Sur, together with EXO Midshipman Lieutenant Commander Turcio Valinga, M1 Midshipman Lieutenant Commander Josef Rizal, M2 Midshipman Lieutenant Commander Gamosa Pampanga, M3 Midshipman Lieutenant Commander Gaoy Kalinga, and for Midshipman Lieutenant Commander Tawagan Kalinga, the Alpha Company headed by Midshipman Lieutenant Achenza Pagayan, together with EXO Midshipman Lieutenant Junior Grade Valerio Southern Leite, 1st Platoon Leader Midshipman Lieutenant Junior Grade Virung Cagayan, 2nd Platoon Leader Midshipman Lieutenant Junior Grade Nunez Camarines Sur. The Bravo Company headed by Midshipman Lieutenant Masigan Cagayan, together with EXO, Midshipman Lieutenant Junior Grade Manugo Camarino Sur. First Platoon Leader, Midshipman Lieutenant Junior Grade Oliveros La Union. Second Platoon Leader, Midshipman Lieutenant Junior Grade Liban Kalinga. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the passing of colors. Seated. Color Officer Major Pan Commander Bayubay Kalinga, 2nd Battalion headed by Major Pan Commander Amparo General, together with EXO Major Pan Lieutenant Commander Tomalasa Bulacan, N1 Major Pan Lieutenant Commander Bulatao Nueva Vizcaya, N2 Major Pan Lieutenant Commander Salazar Tatlap, N3 Major Pan Lieutenant Commander Liban Tatlap, N4 Major Pan Lieutenant Commander Visitacion Nueva Vizcaya, the Charter Company headed by Major Pan Lieutenant Arimiani Batangas, together with EXO Junior Grade Picate, Cagayan. First Battle Leader, Vichy Palatan and Junior Grade Tabuco, General Santos. Second Battle Leader, Vichy Palatan and Junior Grade Gonzalo, Cagayan. The Delta Company, headed by Vichy Palatan and Pasitola, Cagayan Province. Together with Exxon, Vichy Palatan and Junior Grade Tatuya, Pampis Canal. First Battle Leader, Vichy Palatan and Junior Grade Pacadae, Cagayan. Second Battle Leader, Vichy Palatan and Junior Grade Pacadae, Cagayan. Nene, 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 nene. Ni no, no. 